Hey everyone, how's it going? After a very, very, very long wait, we finally have the Android Pie update on the LG V30. So, is it worth it? Should you upgrade to it or should you wait until LG further refines it? In this video, I will be answering all these questions, including the new features and the new problems that have been added with this particular update. My name is Akash and you're watching Tech Infinity. So right off the bat, you will notice here, this is the Android version 9.0 and it has the July security patch. Now, moving on, this is the update that was released in Europe for the H930. But I am able to use this one on my 930DS as well. Now, moving on to the new features. First of all, let's have a look here uh, under the app section. Here you will notice notifications and then brief notifications. Now, as you can see here, there is the option of bubble notifications and sidelight. So these are basically bubble notifications that come up on the always on display. And this is the sidelight option. So that is pretty cool until you get annoyed of it. So basically when you get a notification, it pops up here on top above the clock and uh, the edges of the display light up like this and they keep moving moving so it can be a bit annoying for some people like me so i generally just disable it now moving on a lot of you might have been expecting to use android gestures on your device but i would suggest so far don't really use it it does not work as well as it works on Android Pi on other devices. It is basically very, very annoying. It sucks. And as you can see right now, I'm swiping up, but nothing is happening. I'm swiping right and nothing is happening. So it is very buggy and you get vertical kind of recents there, but it's very annoying. So the good thing is that they have kept the option of buttons only. And you can customize that as before. So I just stick to that for now until LG improves it. Now moving on, these are pretty standard features. Let me quickly show you the answer to score that I got with this particular room. As you can see here, this was the room score that I got on Antutu. So this score is pretty much nearly the same as the one I get on Oreo, but only a little better. And talking of a little better, the PUBG performance here is kind of a lot better than what I saw on Android Oreo. So that's good news that the performance has improved. And even the battery life is kind of marginally improvement from Oreo. I won't really be sharing with you screen on times and that kind of stuff because that is really personal stuff. And screen on time varies from the usage from person to person. So there's not really any use of me sharing you my personal screen on time because a lot of people got uh, say 8 to 10 hours of screen on time on Android Oreo but I never touched that even on Android Oreo I got 4 to 5 screen on time hours so I would just suggest you that this is an improvement that's all I'm going to say now I'm using the black theme here but it does not come inbuilt I'm using a separate theme here I'll be giving the link to that in the description below which theme I'm using and how you can apply a theme. So that's that. And what else is there? Okay. So um, as I said to you, there were some issues with this room. So first of all, the biggest issue is Android RAM management. So they have disabled something called ZRAM with this update. And what that means is apps will keep closing in the background for you. And it will be really annoying. One moment you will be chatting to customer support on Amazon. You open WhatsApp to reply to someone. And when you get back, the app would have closed in the background. You're playing PUBG. You open a WhatsApp to message your friend that come quickly. And when you go back to PUBG, it will be closed in the background. So that really annoyed the shit out of me. But, well, that's something because I don't know why LG has done it. But luckily... They have released a new update for the Korean LG V30 where they have probably added that back because they have mentioned in the change log that it has improved RAM management. 
So hopefully that will come to the 930EU as well and all other LG variants. Now moving on, talking about DTX. So for a really long time, LG has kept the framework of DTX for this particular device hidden and it is still hidden here. You need root to gain access to DTX still. Don't know why LG is not still enabling it and it is not enabled. Ah, so annoying. Well, let's leave it at that. Aside from that, I don't really notice any camera or audio differences with this update or any major overhauls in any of the apps that I have got here. So should you upgrade to this Android Pie update? Mm, well, not really. Here are the reasons. The first reason is RAM management, as I already mentioned. Another reason that I mentioned that I am going to mention is that there's another bug wherein notifications overlap. Say you get four or five emails on Gmail or on any other messaging app or anything else. The notifications and the emails will come on top of each other and they will be unreadable. And that gets really, really annoying. And other than that, let me see if I'm missing any of the features that I'm talking about. So let's just quickly go through the stuff here. There is nothing unusual here. You have the gaming thing. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm using the inbuilt screen recorder here. So as you can see, it is blacked out here for some reason because uh, not some for some means the reason is that I'm currently using it. So it is blacked out. So basically here you can record the internal audio with this audio recorder. That is really awesome. You even get a quick tile for it here on the top. So you can record your PUBG gameplay and that is your internal audio using this. And I really like this thing. Now moving on, this is the always on display and this is pretty standard stuff. It has stayed almost same as before. As you can see here, there's option of GIF and selecting an image. So pretty standard stuff, nothing new or anything crazy here. This is pretty standard stuff. As you can see here, all of these things were back there in Oreo. I would say wait for a stable build of this 930 EU. If you are in the European region on any other device you're having, but because this update has been pulled by LG in Europe. So that means there is something wrong with it and they may be wrong with it even more than what I mentioned. So I would say stay away from this update for now because it will even cause problems with custom rooms right now. And that's something you don't really want if you are into custom rooms. And other than that, if you are in the Korean market, I would say go for the update, upgrade to it. And even the uh, Australian market, I haven't really noticed any huge complaints from the people who have used that update in Australia and even that update hasn't been pulled. So I would say go upgrade to it. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And if you have any questions or doubts, feel free to ask me anything in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.